49 days ago. Welcome to Australian Survivor. 24 Australians were marooned in Samoa with just the clothes on their backs. We have fire! Woo on this adventure of a lifetime, survival alone was challenge enough. Oh. I have a massive infection. Could potentially take me out of the game. I'm quitting. Challenges tested bodies and minds. Oh, We've seen the rise of heroes. Dig it, Susie Q. Dig. And the fall of villains. I had them all like puppets. Sucker. Alliances were formed. We've got this. We, we won't survive. And bonds were broken. You voted me out, and now you want me to show you some gratitude. I'll do absolutely anything to stay in this game. Sam was the last to go, paying the ultimate price for trying to blindside the game's power couple. The tribe has spoken. They have. Now, in the final week, just five remain. Lee, Elle, Christy, Matt, and Flick. Who will claim the half million dollars and the title of Soul Survivor? Milestones today yeah. is reaching the half century. Cricket terminology, you raise your bat in all these situations like this. Show the crowd your appreciation. Let's That's go. what you normally do. Day 50 is a massive day for all the tribal members. It means that we've only got five days left. It really hits home that hey, we're getting getting to the pointy end of the competition. Well, well done. Very proud. Moment. Half a million dollars is in sight. There's no beating around the bush. So. It's going to be very interesting to see how things ramp up over the next few days. When you wake up at day 50, you kind of... You should feel like you've accomplished a lot. You know, because 50 days out here is tough. But I woke up today and I didn't really feel like I was in a good space. Oh, buddy? Yeah, yeah. A couple of days ago, I got a brand new alliance with myself, Christy and Flick, and we kind of went over a bit of a plan to break up this big power couple in Lionel. Yesterday, it was all looking pretty good, but last night at Tribal, Flick and Christy flipped. But I tell you what, I have a chance to be the sole survivor and to take back half a million dollars to my family back home. And I'm never gonna get this chance in my life again. So I'm just gonna work my little strategic head off. If there's an immunity challenge tomorrow, I'm going all guns a blazing. Because if I win it, those people at the top, they ain't matter no more. And I'm one step closer to that final goal.
have a chance to yeah, have no, a chat. Yeah, no, we haven't. Yeah. I guess uh, we Last night was really tough. I mean, I flipped on Maddie because I have such a good relationship with Elle. Last night after tribal council, you've got no idea how happy I was. Yeah. I feel like I can trust her more than I can trust anyone else in this game. And I want to go to the end with her. It's time to make sure that we're on the same page, especially when there's only five days left. So I think what you did, um, I guess, that meant a lot to me yeah. as far as me moving forward in the game as well and you trusting me mm. um, to, you know, to go with you. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I don't know, there's just something about you that I trust 100% yeah, and if same, I want to go to the ends with someone, I want to go to the ends with you. Um, well, for me it's more of a threesome. Lee is 100% genuine and he will go with, you know, um, with us. He's, it's it's us, but we just need to yeah. work hard to get there because we still, you know... Do you still want to be the final two? Um, oh, that's just such an, a hard question because sort of like Lee and I have a story. But at the same time, you're like my little sister. We've got this really good relationship. If Obviously, it were to happen. Yeah, it's, it would be amazing. It would be amazing. It's just the, the perfect ending. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would be happy if either you or Lee were in the final two. You, yeah. never, you just never know. You yeah. never know. I don't believe Elle. I think she agreed to make it to the end with Lee. And it's definitely got me thinking about the next move that I'm going to make in this game. I will never write it. Yeah. Because I want to go to the final. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I absolutely love Elle, but did I come out here to come third? As long as we've got each other. Yeah, that's right, exactly. Obviously, I would rather win. Probably the best chat with this morning. That's good. She's not gonna flip, man. That's good. Yeah, so just rest assured. Yeah. That's she, awesome. She's good, man. She's, she's good. Yeah. Are they still down there? Yeah, they're still in the water. Maddie, I know how you're feeling. That's why I'm sorry. I don't. I no, actually I genuinely mean that. Like, I'm sorry that if I've hurt your feelings. Like, no. I do feel like a bad person in this game. No, you're not a bad person in this game. Lee and Elle decide to walk off, have a chat and leave me with Christy and Flick. <laughs> I'm like the one person you don't want to do that with. Um, you girls have to realise that despite what's happened the last couple of days, despite that there was probably maybe breaches of trust or breaches of like that sort of stuff, that's, it's not done for you guys. We said it at, at that night out, the best opportunity for any of the three of us to win this thing is to be together. You've still got that opportunity. You get rid of one of them, and then it guarantees one of your chance to get it. Right now, you have to beat both Lee and L. Both of them in that final three challenge. I can't do that. I don't think you guys can, and that's that might sound awful. But that's the fact. Like, you? there's no, there's no non-fact about that. Where are they? Are they still in the water? Sorry. Buddy? I think so. So if Matt gets immunity, right? Yeah. Who, who are we voting for? Yeah, I don't know. Maddie? You know I want to work with you. Oh, I know. I, I, I think you both definitely do, but I understand this game is a very big mental game. And the reason and why, why is because. That's why we need to support each other. And the reason why is because I think we all have a fair chance. Oh, I 100%. don't even. I reckon yeah. even in the final challenge, it could be anyone. 100%. Yep, exactly and right. I think, why wouldn't we do this and why actually have we? a chance to win this game? <laughs> oh, my how the turntables, eh? <laughs> well, let's make yeah. a plan. If Lee wins immunity tomorrow, get rid of L. L wins, or if neither win, we're voting for Lee. Yep. Flick and Matt have taken their stand and that's where they are. And Lee and Elle have taken their stand and that's where they are. And I am in the middle. Which means I'm in full control.
go figure. What is that? What is that? Mm. How are you? Hey, mate. Morning. Morning. Matt, how important is winning immunity in these final few days? Uh, I think it's very important for everyone. Probably today is particularly important for me, I think. But, um, I mean, these last couple of days are... Uh, where the wins are probably the most important wins of this entire game. So you are you feeling pressure? Yeah, a little bit. I'm sure probably everyone's feeling some sort of pressure today, but yeah, I definitely feel like I'm potentially feeling a bit more than others. Lee, Johnny, if you make it a hat trick today, does that put a target on your back? Uh, absolutely. People will see that, and uh, I think everyone sort of has some sort of target on their back. To be honest, at this stage. Ready to get to today's immunity challenge? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. All right, first things first. Oh, that one. Right. Right. So you give it up. We'll see if you can make it a hat trick. I hope so. Once again, immunity is back up for grabs. All right, for today's challenge, you will stand on a log while balancing a ball on a wooden disc. At regular intervals, a second and third ball will be added, making it more difficult. If you fall off the log, you drop your ball, you're out of the challenge. Last person left standing wins immunity, safe from the vote, guaranteed a spot in the final four. As for the rest of you, someone's gonna be voted out tonight to become the seventh member of our jury. Let's draw for spots and get started. Okay, for immunity, survivors, step up on your logs. Grab a ball, get it steady on your disc, and I'm gonna count you in. All right, three, two, one. This challenge is on. Everyone looking very steady. Remember, if you touch the ball, you're out. The ball drops, you're out. If you step off your log, you're out. It takes a lot of focus. Lee struggling early in this challenge. Can't find his balance. A lot of movement in his feet. What the hell are my legs doing? Matt shaking a little bit. I don't know what my legs are doing, bro. A lot of movement in Matt's legs right there. Calm down. Calm down, legs. Lee managed to control the shaking, but doesn't look comfortable. Well, big movement from L. Both L and Christy struggling a little bit now. It's heavy. Rolling around yeah. the disc. So heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Done. Elle's ball drops and she's out of the challenge. Take a spot on the mat. The rest of you really need to stay focused. A lot of movement from Christy. Nice recovery. Got to get that technique right because once the second ball goes on, it gets a whole lot harder. Oh, really struggling now. Okay, in 10 seconds, this round will end and we will go to two balls. Christy's really working hard. Right at the edge. Brings it back. Well done, Christy. Oh, the crab's in my head. Three, two, one. All right, that's it. 
Well done. Oh God. Wow. Wow. All right. Here we go again. Two balls. Okay, once you're steady, I'm gonna count you in. Three, two, one. Challenge is back on. And Flick has changed hands for this round. Oh. That's it, Flick drops a ball. She's out of the challenge. Right, guys. My heart was tired. We have three left. Christy, Lee, and Matt. Christy struggling a little bit. Nice recovery from Christy. Right, Christy. And again, I don't know how she's doing this, but Christy is still in this challenge. That's it. The ball drops. She's out of the challenge. Come take a spot on the mat. That leaves two. Lee and Matt fighting it out for that necklace. Lee has not looked comfortable for one second in this challenge. But he's been steady as a rock. Really see those core muscles in play here. 10 seconds. Takes a lot of concentration to keep two balls up there. But it's gonna get a whole lot harder. Five, four, three, two, one. Great work, guys. Awesome work. Oh, God, that arm's gone. <laughs> All right, grab your balls, get them on the disc, get them steady. Three. Two, one. This challenge is now back on. And it's a whole lot more difficult now. A lot on the line here today. The winner is guaranteed a spot in the final four. Oh, quite a big movement from Lee then. Nice recovery. That is not easy with three balls. Matt's balls have separated, one on each edge. It's gonna make it very difficult to bring them back. Very little room for error right now. Can he hold it together? Teetering on the edge. This is painful to watch. Incredible concentration. Amazingly, Matt brings them back to center. Incredible. Work, Maddie. Lee has one at the edge now. Lee's ball getting dangerously close to the edge there. Fatigue, starting to play havoc. Oh, ball right at the edge. Very difficult to recover when they're out on the edge. So close. on the edge. Unbelievable. That's oh, it. Drops. Daddy. Lee wins individual immunity third time in a row. Good work. That was so close, Maddie. Good work. Oh, Good work. Great battle. Great battle. Great battle, eh? Yes. Good on, Lee. Good on. Oh, man, that was tough. Lee. Yeah, well 
Come on over. Let's go to sleep, sorry. Thanks, mate. Congratulations. You got your hat trick. Cheers, yeah. Safe travel council tonight. Guaranteed a spot in the final four. Well done. Well done. As for the rest of you, someone's quest for the title of Soul Survival will come to an end tonight. Grab your gear, head on out. I'll see you at Tribal Council. Matt, well done today. Yeah, it was a great yeah, effort. So you should be proud of yourself. So good. Really, really proud. Oh, I was so close. I fought as hard as I possibly could, and I was pretty devastated when I lost it. But I see Flick and Christie as the ones that have the power to make a move. So I've got to keep them convinced it's time to get rid of Elle. This weather it doesn't feel good. Awesome work, Lee. No, Once brother. again, you're three in a row. I know. We just arrived back to camp from an immunity challenge, which I was so close to winning. But uh, Lee just pinched me at the post. Epic battle, brother. Oh, that was good. That was a good battle. It's good. But I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm currently in an alliance with myself, Flick, and Christy. It's in the three of our best interests to break up this big power couple in Lee and Elle. I just got to make sure that Lee and Elle don't pick up on the fact that I'm as high as a kite right now. So I'm going to try to play it a bit somber still. He's staying still and balancing the ball. But I actually really can't do it. Right. Should we fill up water bottles? Yeah. I'd yeah. love Good my food up if possible, please. That challenge was crazy. I think Lee's just going to keep winning them. Oh, my God. Lee's just going to keep winning. If he keeps winning, he's just going to take Elle. At yeah. the end. Exactly right. Um, yeah, so obviously I've been a little bit anxious too. I've been really anxious. Because, you know, I don't want to vote a lot, but I've just been thinking, game-wise, it's I the know. best thing. I love Elle. Um, I love and her too. And obviously it's up but... because I did want to stick with her. Like, I actually do love her, and I actually want to be really good friends with her afterwards. Yeah. So for me, it is going to be actually really, really, really hard tonight. Yeah. Um, so I think me, you, and Elle need to go have a chat on the beach. To yeah. And we'll yeah. tell her. I knew that I had to tell Elle that I was voting her off tonight. We'll just say we just wanted to be honest with you tonight. Yeah. I think she deserves that at the least. Yeah, so, so nice. Um, we've just been doing some talking. Obviously, you know where everything's at. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of just see it like we're not going to win this if you and Lee are both in it. Yeah. Um, and I love you so much. Like, I really, really do love you so much. Yeah. Um, but I think we're both going to have to write your name down tonight. We just see that no matter what, you and Lee are going to make it to the end. None of us have a chance. We're just sitting ducks. We're, we're, we're not good in challenges, you know? Yeah, that's OK. So where does Christy fit into all of this then? Is it you, you and Matt in uh, an alliance then? OK. Yeah. I don't want it to make it look like Flick just did this yeah, on her no, own. Yeah. Um, I was fully a part of the conversation. I yeah. was fully a part of the agreement. And that's why I'm sitting here yeah. right now and having this conversation. Yeah. yeah. And it's nothing personal because I love you and I really did yeah. want to go to, to the ends with you, you know? Well, you can't trust um, Flick. Sorry. Can't trust Flick. She'll tell you, she'll take you to the top two. She's told me, she'll take me to the top two, which is a lie. You've lied. You've lied to both of us. You've lied to probably Matt as well. You've lied to heaps of people in the past. I thought you were better than that. You're not. So I would not trust her. 
basically. Have you been telling her that you'll take her to the top two? I said I would love to go to the ends with you. She promised me she'd take me to the top two. For your sake, Lee and I are more genuine, and if you want to win, you're not going to win going with these two. If you come with Lee and I, we'll make it even. But how, how is it even, though? Because you guys are better at because, challenges. Well, I'm not. And, and it, how do you know that I any... wouldn't take Christy to the end? Well, would you? Well, I actually wouldn't know until I actually get to the top three if I was but to get to it. you told her that you would take her to the top two. Well, I would. But then, so what is it? You would or you wouldn't? Well, I would, but I just don't know what would actually happen until I get there. Yeah. But I would. I just think you need to stop making false promises and, yeah. Like, look but at I her, think pa everyone... look at the past that she's done in this game. No one has trusted her up to this minute, and I don't think you can trust her going forward with, with her and Matt. If you come with Leah myself, everything will be out in the open. And just so you know, um, Flick has been filling my head with bullshit. Like, I'll be so happy if you win. I would be sort of happy stuff. if you won, though. Yeah, I know. No, but I you're actually saying... mean that, though. Like, I would be happy if you yeah, won. Yeah, but you've just, like, this whole friendship is like, I don't know, it just feels fake now. Okay, it feels fake. it's not, though. Yeah. Just because you've just been lying to me, that's all. Do you want to go have a chat with Lee? I think this conversation's over. Sure. <laughs> we need to have a chat. Sorry, man. I know you're busy. No, I'll go wash this in, right? Yes. Yeah, so. All funny games, huh? It's fun. Um, I guess the only question that I do have is to Matt, and I'll ask you this now. Mm. Um, and I'm going to ask you out in the open. Has Flick promised to take you to the final two? I have no promises of anyone to go to the final two. No, I don't. No, not at all. Okay. All hell is broken loose. You just got to be aware, though, Chrissy. People lie. Do you know what I mean? Yep. I think someone once again has spoken to Leonel and told him what the plan was, and they're not happy. I'm just going to watch this. World War Three has finally erupted. And that's good for me. Well, you don't have to worry anymore. It looks like it's me going Chat, sure. <laughs> we need to have a chat. Sorry, man. I know you're busy. No, I'll go wash this anyway. Yeah. Sorry. So the predicament for me is there are primarily two alliances. All funny games, huh? It is. It's fun. You have Leaf, Ellen, myself. I'm just gonna watch this. But then you have Matt, Flick, and myself as well. Well, you don't have to worry anymore. It looks like it's me going tonight. I am torn between the two. The vote coming down to what I decide is extremely scary. It's a make or break situation. Basically, they've told me that they're writing my name down tonight because I'm going home tonight. Who said that? Christy and Flick. So Flick and Christy just told you that you're getting voted off tonight? Yeah because it is, like, the best option long-term. Get that whole theory of us two being the head final no, we've two. never thought that once. No, we've wanted to go with you because you're an agnostic. We've been with you from the start, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I would rather take someone like you than a liar like Flick. Who was she at the start of the fear for you? She talked to you? The closer this gets to the end, the yeah. more people get in the air, more people just claw and clamour their way and go back to the basics. Who do you trust and who do you trust the longest? Flick is a liar. You've got to make a choice tonight. This is your choice, OK? We can either go to the people that you trust and you have been with the whole time, or you can go the other option 
and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you go that other option, you'll use for one vote only. So bottom line, I think, I don't think you can trust, actually, I know you can't trust Those either two. of these two. Why were you trust, so trusting of her that? Because I thought we were friends. I thought her and I were Same friends. as Sam and Brooke. I yeah. thought Sam was a friend. Until just then, oh. Christy, and I feel, I feel horrible. They're snakes, oh. mate. They're villains, man, I'm telling you. They are. They've both been lying the whole game. Yeah. We're both victims to that. If you decide to vote for here, I'll be going hard and I'll be going as hard as I can to win every challenge. You thought I ramped it up now. Yeah. Look out. Naturally, Lee is angry and trying to change my vote because it, it is a deciding vote. But at the same time, if I don't want to do something, I'm not going to stand there and take it. If she goes, I'm more determined to, to get win every challenge. So keep that in mind when you make your vote tonight. If my dad was here, he would say, be yourself, back yourself. Make your own decisions, Christy, and do what you think is right. And that's what I intend on doing. But I need more information. I know they're trying to be the good guys and stuff in this, but I don't know if they really are as good as they're making out to be. I feel, uh, I feel, I feel like it'll get easier from tonight, whatever you do tonight. <laughs> if you're in a strong two, it's in a pretty good spot if you get some more. Mate, I love the doubts that you're creating. Yeah. No, I'm not. You've got three, you got three people to so go okay, to the so end, okay, so and we'll have a, one person has a day out of a challenge yeah. on, a, on an event that suits them. Yeah then they choose. Well, yeah, 100%. But so, in the last 30 days, there hasn't been a challenge that either of us have won. So how, what do you think is going to change on that last day? I have two people trying to get me to vote on their side against each other. And at this stage, both options are strategic options. But strategy doesn't just mean numbers. Strategy is a holistic view of looking at something and evaluating which is the best way to move forward. You can create doubt. I'm not creating doubt. Fine. I'm talking opinion, I'm talking yeah, facts. Yeah, that's fine. If you go against two people that have had a much larger percentage of winning, you're obviously going against and that. That doesn't opponents. necessarily mean that they're going to choose that, that other person for a top two. But yeah, oh, come on, though. Hey. It, uh, hey. If, if, L, if L wins... We have not spoken know. about top two. It's Ever. Pretty cool. And I get asked that in the bush all the time. Anyway, we really want to flick out because yeah. of what's happened in the last yeah. 12 hours, but you're a way bigger threat than the challenges. keep with her word to us, and Elle will go. Flick will go because of what she's done in regards to flipping on Lee and Elle, or I'll go because I'm probably the strongest competitor here when it comes to challenges. Christy has control, so we're just gonna have to try to make sure she sticks with her original decision with us. Heading into tribal council, I don't feel safe at all. If Christy flips, I'm going home tonight. It. The end.
Get the ultimate experience with Australian Survivor highlights, challenge videos, exit interviews, and more at 10play.com.au slash Survivor. Fear, Jonathan. We'll now bring in the jury. Nick, Kylie, Sue, Jenna Louise, Brooke, and Sam voted out last tribal council. Well, to win Survivor, you have to outwit, outplay, and outlast everyone else. Matt, what does that mean to you, to outwit, outplay, and outlast? You need to have the full game, don't you? You know, you can't just come in here with one skill. You have to have so many different things, and, you know, you have to put them all together at the right time, in the right place as well, you know? So that's why this game is so difficult. Flick, how difficult is it to make moves now when you have people that you consider to be friends? It is really hard. Um, I do consider everyone here a friend and I consider a lot of people on the jury friends as well, even though I've had to vote people out. Um, it is a game though and I guess that's what you have to remember. Elle, in a game like this, how important do you think it is to keep your emotions in control? Um, oh, it's probably the um, first priority for me. I like to switch my emotions off. It's hard, but, yeah. Christy, Elle is saying really the best way to play the game is just to separate the emotion out. Keep your head on straight. Keep the emotion over there. Make, make a cool, calculated decision. Um, I think that's just the way Elle is as a person. I think that's how she um, likes to just operate. It's uh, probably something I should take a leaf out of a book on. So emotions sometimes can confuse what? Your path forward, is that what you're saying? Um, everything can. <laughs> like, there are lots of things that can, and I'm sure everybody sitting here has experienced that at one point or another. Matt, do you know how tonight's going to play out? Um, I, I have a pretty good idea how tonight's going to be played out. Um, we were sort of told before we came here that it was between myself or Flick. Flick, how does that sit with you? Uh, obviously, I don't really want to leave the game just yet. Did you try today to try and turn the situation around? Well, me, Christy and Matt, um, we had a chat and, and all spoke about how we're probably not going to beat Lee and Elle in this game. Um, and that's nothing against them because they're both great people and I actually really like them both. Um, but it was just more, you know, they are big threats in this game. Um, just being realistic. So you, Christy and Matt, three of you, so you had the numbers? Yeah. Elle, oh, you must understand where she's coming from. She's yeah. looking at you and thinking, I can't beat you. Yeah. So no hard feelings, but yeah, exactly. you're a threat to her in yeah. this game, so yeah. it makes sense. It's good, like, a, yeah, I'm not um, dissing her move or anything like that. But then I fought for it and it turned it around, which is good. And how did you turn it around? We just worked out, you know, like, Flip was telling us, like, we were both going to the end with her and she'd take us all to the top two. I like little things like that, that, you know, um, were dishonest and I guess it came all out in the open. You haven't made such promises? Yeah, I've made promises, but I've always kept my alliances. 
as funny as that may be. Matt, I see you maybe not agreeing with that. Oh, well, I think there was a pretty big alliance that I was in, meant to be a part of, and it wasn't the case, but that seems to be forgotten. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that, but... I wasn't, I've never been in an alliance with you, though. Well, oh, the Sanapu one, is that you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, the Sanapu Alliance, the one, oh, okay. was, yeah, the one that you were a part of with me. Um, but yeah, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. I don't but, think um, there was an alliance, though, the, uh, the Sanapu one. Oh, it was just a group of, group of friends that voted together and made decisions together. Oh, yeah. Kind of like an alliance. Lee, how hard is it to make the right move in this game? when your head is telling you one thing and your heart's telling you something else. With everything intensified so much, you've just got to keep reminding yourself to stay down that path of my alliance as much as possible. Christy, when this game is over, there's going to be a sole survivor and then there's going to be everyone else. What do you have to do to make sure that you're that sole survivor? Oh, you got to play the game how you think and believe it should be played. Uh, there are different ways and different uh, thoughts behind doing it, but there's not one way to do it, and it's your choice. And you choose how you want to do it, and as long as it sits well with you, I think then you know you're doing the right thing. All right, on that note, Time to vote. All right, time to vote. Lee has the necklace. We can't vote for him. Everyone else is fair game. Lee, you're up. Count the votes. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and they'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. OK, once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out be asked to leave Tribal Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Matt. L. One vote, Matt. One vote, L. Flick. One vote, Matt. One vote, L. One vote, Flick. Matt. It's two votes, Matt. Last vote. 20th person voted out from Australian Survivor, seventh member of our jury, Matt. You need to bring me a torch. Matt, the tribe has spoken. 
<laughs> okay, Sarah, Sarah. See you guys. Whatever will be, will be. Time for you to go. Well, tonight there was a lot of talk about emotions. Question is, will emotions help you win this game or will they lose it for you? We'll soon find out. Grab your torches, head back to camp. Next time on Australian Survivor. I have a massive target on my back. And I just need anything to survive. Has Flick blown her charts at half a million dollars? Flick would sell a grandmother to stay in the game. Or can she make one last move to reach the finale? I didn't come here to come forth. I came here to win. Flick is making a move. I am completely freaking out. It's funny, you know that you have the numbers and the power to get rid of the strongest two players in this game. So why don't you do it? It, it baffles me. It's either me or you tonight, and I'm not ready to go home yet. One of the three of us should be winning this game. We should be winning half a million dollars, and we should be the sole survivor. Discover the reasons behind every vote, thanks to Hungry Jacks. Watch it now on 10Play. Thank you.